Face reality, people. Movies are dead. Games are dead. Narrative, dead. Media is nothing but neural trigger response and viral conditioning. Wait, what are you two talking about? All right. Uh, just watched a movie called The Killer. I didn't just watch it. I watched it last night. I did a sloppy review, so I'm going to like redo it right now. You know, open honesty. Anyways, I actually like this movie. The, it's a John Woo film. There's a lot of John Woo shit. There's a lot of, like... like if you've watched my video reviews, you'd probably think, like, oh, this guy hates this movie. I don't hate this movie, man. I had fun with it. Yes, there's a lot of stupid shit that happens, but I know I'm watching a John Woo movie. Like, I don't know. And there was, like, enough uh, attempts at depth and heartfelt moments that, like, oh, he's like, you won me over, man. Now, is it a great movie? Is it an all-time great? No. Right? Like, you can have crazy action movies. You can think of, I don't know, like, The Matrix, right? But clearly, there's another level to this, right? Actually, this movie, The Killer, is it The Killer or Killers? I think it's The Killer because of the, the girl, Z, the, the hot chick from uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just like you could see the influence from movies like The Matrix. And what else did I see in here? Jesus Christ. Obviously, the John Woo and like face off and shit like that. Of course, there's those influences, but like it's it's a it has all the traditional action, old style action movies things. Apparently, this is based on a fucking a movie he made already. Apparently, so that's why maybe it looks like a callback to the older style movies. So I'm like, all right, I don't mind that as long as you don't just like put slop down and be like, here, eat this. You know, I I want something where I'm. I'm at least getting something meaningful out of it from either the creator or some sort of stance about the world or the or the world we live in or society or philosophy or anything like that. Like I can I can appreciate those things. Uh and this the scene that really won me over where I was like, all right, it's just a traditional action movie. It's a normal action movie. There's a scene that actually pulled that pulled me in. And here's like another influence, the Dark Knight. And this scene reminded me of Joker and Batman inside the interrogation room, right? Where we actually get to sit down and we actually get closer to the characters. We get a closer understanding of the characters, right? Uh, the French detective, what's his name? Say? Sai? Say? S-E-Y, I think his name is. And Z, the fucking the female Queen of the Dead assassin, they have like a face off, like a dialogue face off in the interrogation room. And they actually pull us to a flashback where, you know, he's probably younger in his cop days and he's an undercover. And uh, he, <laughs> he fucks up and gets caught, right? He gets made. I guess like a, a malfunction happens with his wire. And the bad, the guy is supposed to be wi like uh, wiretapping or recording. Here's that buzzing. He's like, "Oh shit, you got a wire!" And shoots him in the fucking leg, right? So the psy guy is about to, you know, meet his fucking demise. But you know, they 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 do some camera trickery where they make you think the partner, the size partner, like cop partner, shot the guy, but he didn't. It was actually Z hiding in this like. I guess she was out to kill this guy anyways, but it, she's not just a killer. She has morals behind it, I think. Like she has like a somewhat of a code, somewhat, to where she actually, it looked like she's like, oh, I'm going to actually save this guy. Yes, my job is to kill this bad guy anyways, this random whatever he is, drug dealer. My job is like, I'm I'm hired to kill this guy, but... I might as well save him while I'm at it. Like, so there was, like, an actual thing there. Just, like, she, when she saves the fucking... The girl that goes blind. Hitting her head. <laughs> Which I think is just stupid. I, I don't know. I find that stupid. Even if that's realistic, I find that stupid. And she falls on her head, and she's like... Oh, she doesn't get knocked out. She just goes blind. I'm like, 
okay, that's fucking stupid. But, you know, I can accept the stupid if there's some sort of attempt at something else happening in the movie, which I think there was, man. I think there was a heartfelt, trying to, attempting to make a connection between the, de- the detective and the Queen of the Dead. Fucking Z, right? That was like, I don't know, I thought that was cool how, how John Woo and the writers and shit were trying to like make them connect. And it, I think it worked a bit. It was endearing. Once again, is this the greatest movie ever? Fuck no. But is it entertaining? Yes. Is there moments of like levity where you actually feel good for the characters or for moments in the movie for the characters? Of course. That's in there too, man. It's it's worthwhile. So I'm going to put it in the I recommend category. But it's not going to get the highest score ever because it's let's be real. There's a lot of stupid, goofy shit in here. It's, <laughs> it's like there just is like, yo, how'd you survive that? Uh, you know, how come the bad guy always gets a speech before you know this happens or that happens? You know, how'd she escape that? Like, there's always, there's there's going to be that stupid like eyesore thing happening with like. You know, the over-the-top action movies. But I still think there was, like, heart to the movie. There's heart in it. So I'm going to recommend people watch this movie. I I was entertained by it, man. But the score, I think it's something like 7.1, 7.2 in that territory. As far as, like, making a film... It's, like, slightly bo- below average as far as, like, certain things are going to break your logic. They're going to, like, hurt your eyesight. You're going to be like, what the fuck? How did you get away with that? Or why are they doing this? Or this scene looks kind of cheesy. Or the action looks actually kind of cheesy in certain spots. And God damn it, John, with the f- slow motion fucking birds. Holy shit. Stop it. So that's why it's, like, as a film, film, it's, like, slightly bo- below average. But will you have fun? Yeah, I think so. I think you'll have fun. I had fun. And, uh, yeah, there's, like, it's not, like, the heart isn't left out of the fucking movie. There's heart there. So, I'm going to give him credit there. Uh, people who have seen the original, they'll probably like that better. I don't know. I haven't seen it before. But there's always people who love the original, like, who are, like, staunchly, you know, attached to the original. So, it is what it is. Uh, anything else I want to say? Um, no, dude, go check it out, man. Like, like, actually, let me let me add this in here. Everything, everywhere, all at once, right? There's a lot of fuck. There's big action scenes and action sequences and all that shit with the heart, right? It has a lot of heart. It's just they make it come together, come together correctly to where there's no eyesores for the action. Yes, yeah, some of the comedy's a little over the top for me. But it all makes sense within the world that they're giving us, right? They're not trying to make it a real, like they're saying, like multiverses to where, you know, a dude does have to sit on a dildo to fucking, <laughs> to, you know, to, to access that part of himself that's in another dimension or whatever, right? So they're like, it, it's stupid, but it makes sense stupid. It makes sense to the world that they're in. So I don't like. That's why it's like I love that movie so much. It, it's clean. It's cleanly made. This movie, if they're trying to stay grounded in, into our reality, like you know, a simulation of our reality, right, where you have like rules like gravity and fucking, if you get shot in the head, you're fucking dead, right? In our world, if they're trying to go that route with this movie, The Killer, or The Killers, whatever it is, uh, there's gonna be eyesores. There's gonna be things where it's like people can't do that in real life. All right, this this stupid thing happened in order to set up this scene later on. Okay, I got it. That's why this happened. Thus, it's an eyesore. Thus, it it, it hurts. It doesn't flow all the way through. So that's like a movie I would compare the time to compare it to for everything, everywhere, all at once, and it's a lot of action, right? And I think it's it's okay to compare these two movies for that sake of how well they do it and everything everywhere all at once and the faults you see in the killer or the killer john woo's the killer so all right with that said 7.1 7.2 i recommend go check it out there's my review uh